How's it going guys, Boy Kind Ken here. The next episode of a Pokemon Fire Red Omega Randomized Wedlock. I decided to be cheeky in the last episode and cut it off right as we went into the Battle of Kuhn. Um so I just had to work my way all the way back here. And uh that's where we are. So, if you guys missed the last episode, the link down in the description below to a place of all I've done so far. You can go check that out. It's below. And there should also be a card in the top right corner of the video, you can go check that out as well. But with that, let's give ourselves a quick party recap. I rearranged my party and stuff, and but everything's the same, so. So, 49, we have Titania the Gardevoir with uh, Ice Punch, Calm Mind, Magic Leaf, and Psychic. Then we have Evergreen the Sceptile, level 48. She's paired with Evergreen the Sceptile, level 48, with Pursuit, Fury Cutter, Leaf Blade, and Thunder Punch. Then we have Shoelaces, level 47, Tangla, with Giga Drain, Slam, Poison Powder, and Vine Whip. And she is paired with a Trovis the Swampert, level 49, with um, Muddy Water Dig, Rock Slide, and Water Gun. So I taught Trovis Dig and Shoelace's Giga Drain. That's all the changes I made. Then we have Scarlet the Swallow, level 48, with Fly, Endeavor, Quick Attack, and Air Release. And she is paired with Nanara Nanatsu the Typhlosion, level 49, with Crush Claw, Flame Thor, Flame Wheel, and Quick Attack. So. My strategy for this is I'm just trying to kill whatever I can first hit, and then uh, set up calm mines with um. Sh set up sh shut up. Set up calm mines with um. Titania and then sweep. I would say maybe three calm mines would be enough. So let's thunder punch, and can we get a crit in one shot? No. Okay. Poison Fang, I can eat that. Kill on! That was a crit that I needed. Alright. Alright. So there's Walrein. Which I should have seen coming, because he had a Celio last time. What else did he have? He has a Houndoom, he has an Electabuzz, and now he has the Wall Rain. So I would think a Gardevoir as well. But who knows? So I'm plus one, plus one. Curse. It's one curse up. I'm gonna go to plus two. No, I'm gonna go to plus three. Yeah, I'm gonna go to plus three, and then I'll Magic Relief, and hopefully, hopefully, that'll one-shot. Because he's only raising his physical stats right now. And Grass is special in this gen. So he went to plus three on Curse, which is actually kind of scary. It's actually kind of scary. But I think I'm okay. Oh, we're so close, though. He went to plus four. He went to plus four. I should have gone to plus four. I think he might heal. Oh, wait. Never mind. I was like, I think he might heal, so I wanted to call mine again to get to plus four, but... I mean, that'll do it. That'll work, too. Hound Doom. Now I need to Ice Punch this thing, because this is literally not going to do anything. That's not going to do much, so I need to Ice Punch this thing. Crunch, I'm going to eat that, because I'm plus three. Ugh. And Dark is special in this gen, not physical. That does nothing, though. That is absolutely nothing. I need to comment again. Sunny Day. Now... His Fire Blast is gonna hurt. Cause it's in the sun. But I'm also plus four. So I wanna see how much it's gonna do. <laughs> that is literally laughable. That is literally laughable. It's a it's a stab fire blast in the sun from a hound doom. 
and I eat it. Because I'm plus four. This is laughable too now that I'm plus four. This is laughable damage. That's a stab crunch from a Houndoom on a Gardevoir. And it's laughable. Because I'm plus four. And it's third gen and it's special. And I'm gonna eat that. Delicious. And now I think I can just psychic everything. Because I like the buzz, uh, I need to heal, and then I can start psychicking. Cross up, it missed! It missed again! Can I be like high jump kick and he takes a bunch of damage when it misses? Oh, the Oko, let's go! Kill him! Plus four Gardevoir is a monster. So we're kind of sort of on par. I mean... Yeah. Yum. Where can I get the TM for that? Like seriously, I want that TM. Thank you. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So now, I'm gonna go heal, and then we'll be ready for, as Kuhn likes to call it, Boss Rocket. Alright, come on. Just get out of my way. Get out of my way. Stuck up prick. <laughs> I should not be saying those kinds of things on a PG channel. I'm not ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for this. I don't think I'm ready for this. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I'm gonna try to solo it. I'm gonna try to solo it. Oh, I'm so scared. I am so, so, so scared. So, my thing is, he outspeeds me, I'm pretty sure. Let's check. Let's check base stats. Let's check base stats. So, Houndoom, base 95 speed, and Swamper, I'm base like, 80? I'm base 60. <laughs> Okay, um, so he definitely outspeeds me, so he's gonna take in sunlight on this turn. So if I dig, I go underground, he misses his solar beam, and I can possibly Oko? Because it's stab and super effective, so it's basically base 160. It should kill. There we go! That's what I like to see. Nido King. What's Nido King's base speed? Nido King's base speed is base 85. Why is everything else speed? What's, what's Tangles? Probably not good at all. Base 60. I'm gonna muddy water. Body slam. And I missed my Really? I'm afraid of an earthquake, that's why I don't wanna dig. So I'm afraid of an earthquake. That is great damage, that is great damage. Cause the earthquake will do double damage if I'm underground. So one more Morty Water should take him out. And I should be able to just heal up and solo his team with Trovis. Because he is neutral. He is ground type. Um, locked. Except for his Persian, I think. So, he's like ground and rock type locked. Um, because he's a gym leader. 
so his character is tight theme locked. So it should be okay. It's not gonna do anything. I actually did more than I expected. Okay. That should kill, that's four times effective. Instead of saying super effective, it's four times effective, it's usually it's ultra effective. Or it's mega effective. Okay, that wasn't even a pun. I don't know why I did that. There you go, Trovis. There you go, Trovis. You're eating it up. You're a champion. Lower the accuracy. That's good. That's good. I like that. I like that. I like that. Eat that! That is not gonna do anything! Mmm! Eat that up. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. That accuracy lower counted, though. Oh, he missed the earthquake, too! Let's go! Kill him, Trovis Yas! I can eat that. How mean was I? How how mean was I just now? By water gunning him. I mean, I did it to save PP, honestly. Glister. Glister. I can't do it. I can't do it very well. I'm not gonna outspeed. But I'm gonna eat that. And he doesn't have skill link. Wow! Okay. That did a heck of a lot more damage than I thought it would. Um. How you doing today, Cloyster? Kidding me. It's physical, you can eat it! The thing with a wedlock is... If Trovis can pull this out... He stays on the team. I'm not playing these shenanigans. You just killed my Tangle, my physical wall. My physical wall, you just killed my physical wall. I ain't playing these games. Thank you. Thank you. I can't pair him with anyone. The thing with all the other ones is I couldn't pull out a win. That was the thing about the other ones is I couldn't pull out the win. But I knew I could pull out the win with, um... Trovis, so that's why I did it. Explosion cloister, that is so much bull crap. Anyways, I have no idea how long this episode is. I'm I'm just done. <laughs> so with that, um our next two episodes are going to be basically being captures and taking on gyms. So I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Fire and Omega Randomized Webbox. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!
Yes. 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 Yes.